Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code and welcome to another episode of our Django tutorial series. In our previous video, we created our first app and we created the view that corresponds with that app as well as setting the URL path of that view. So the, in the previous video, the view that we sent back was a simple HTTP text response. But in this video, we'll create an HTML file and send that as our HTTP response. So I've already written all of the code in my files, but I'll go through it line by line and show you exactly what to do and how to replicate this in your own project. So first thing you're going to want to do is create a new folder called templates within your app folder. So here I've already created it. Remember, right click, click on new folder, and you'll have a new folder called templates. And then within this templates folder, create a new fold, create a new file, call it whatever you want. I called mine index.html. And within this HTML file, write down doc type HTML. This just tells the computer that this file is an HTML file. Create the HTML tags at the top and bottom. Create the head tags. We're not going to write anything in them today or right now, but we will write in them later. And then create the body tags. And within this body tag, you're going to want to create an H1, which is a header and just call that hello world. Now, once this template has been created, we need to modify our views so that it's sending this HTML file as a response instead of just pure text. So head back into views.py and within this views.py file, create a new line, say from Django.template, import loader. And within this index function, create a template Make that equal to loader.getTemplate and put the name of your file, your name of your HTML file within this function. So remember mine is called index.html, so I wrote index.html within this function. And then you return an HTTP response of template.render. Now once you've done that, go back into your command prompt. And before you're able to run this server again, you're going to need to say python manage.py and then migrate. And I, I, mine says no migrations to apply because I already migrated, but yours will perform the necessary migrations and then you can run the Python server. So say python manage.py, run server at whatever port you want. And then when you hop back into your file, reload. And once you reload, you'll see the HTML file's contents are displayed. Now, if we hop back into our HTML file, we're, able to, we're going to be able to modify it. And you'll see the modifications happen in real time. So I can say h2. My name is Steam Code. Save it. Reload the page. And you can see it says my name is Steam Code. So all you need to do is save the file and the HTML is automatically updated. Let's change the title of this page. So within your head tags, create a title tag. And let's just say it my test site. Reload again. And you can see the title of this page is changed to my test site. All right. So now you know how to add an HTML file to your Django app. In future tutorials, we'll add to this HTML file some CSS and some JavaScript. And that is where we'll get into static files. But as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.